Hi everyone, welcome to Pro Tools Answers, where three Pro Tools experts demonstrate and elaborate on your Pro Tools questions put to the community in Avid's official Facebook support forum. Please welcome Master and Instructor Anders Motz. Hello. And Master Instructor Andy Hayden. How you doing? And myself, Dave, we take you into the workings of Pro Tools and Ethos to help the user community better understand Avid's flagship app. Uh, before we jump into our question, we want to give a massive shout out to all of our Inner Circle supporters. Thank you so much for everything that you do for us. Um, it's so much appreciated that you help to uh, uh, to donate to the channel and help us keep uh, doing what we're doing. We couldn't do it without you guys. And we look forward to seeing you uh, in the Discord and at our next masterclass in a month or so time. Thank you so much. Um, in this episode, we're going to be looking at a question from Colby. And Colby asks, I want to move every clip locked in place in my session all at once. How do I do this? So how do we do this, Andy? Uh, you could use uh, the shift command from, from, the, uh, from the edit drop down menu. Um, you would select what you want to move, which in this case would be everything. And you can shift it earlier or later by a given amount okay cool great we could sold we could also <laughs> okay. we could potentially mo use move song start you could yep or insert uh, or cut time from the event operations awesome well that was an easy show thank you very much to you andy thank you anders uh, my name is Dave. this is pro tools answers we're out <laughs> <laughs> We're kidding. <laughs> nah. We've got a couple of options here, right? So uh, moving song start, we mentioned. Uh, Anders, I think you mentioned inserting and cutting time mm -hmm. was one of them. And uh, did we mention using the all group? Uh, we didn't. Uh, we didn't. I, I mean, sh shift is also a great function. Uh, um, uh, who's driving this? Let, let's show these one at a time. If you, you've got some stuff on your timeline, right, Anders, that yeah, could sure. be easily moved. Mm -hmm. So I th there's a question that I would like to ask, though, here, because he asked, how can I move everything locked in time? Well, is that all of the clips locked together so that they always maintain their same relative position? Or is it being locked to a specific uh, time base ruler? Well, they wouldn't be moving. Uh, or uh, maybe I misunderstood you. Sorry. Uh, let's let's uh, say that they are moving as one unit. I think I, yes. I think that's what I mean. That yes, that, well, that's what I mean. Move it with all relative mm. position to each. Yeah, yeah, all the, yeah. yeah. Okay, um, so uh, let's start with uh, with Andy's shift, which is a great little feature. Andy, do you want to talk through it? So, so yeah, it's it's fairly easy. Um, so you select <coughs> what you want to move. This is this is one of those. It has the virtue of of being. You, you have some flexibility in, in selecting what you want. So uh, uh, Anders is going to select everything and uh, go ahead and uh, select an area on the timeline. I don't care. Okay. Like so. Okay. Um, and he's he selected only one track. Yeah. Okay. So do you want uh, to extend this to all tracks? Yeah, why not? There mm -hmm. you go. Now, um, at this point, um, this includes, and this is this is an important distinction. This would include all the automation that exists on the uh, on the aux tracks, uh, folder mm -hmm. tracks. Um, it it applies to tick based tracks, um, uh, sample based tracks, and so on and so forth. Basically, the whole schmear. Um, go to the edit drop down menu. Thank you. And then shift. He's good at this, isn't he? And um, and one of the nice things too is that you can go. Um, it, it, it this is a little bit different than other uh, dialog boxes where you would choose the the the, the scale that you want to move it in. It actually shows you all of the scales. Um, so do you want to move it, Dave? Do you want to move it earlier or later? Um, I'd like to move it later. Um, okay. By how much? I want I want to move it to uh, fifty feet, please. <clears throat> okay. It doesn't move it to something, it moves it by oh, something. by something, something. okay. Exactly. Yeah. So 50 feet. <laughs> that would be 33 which is, which, is, I, which I think is the first time I've actually used feet and frames as a squeal. Um, so, so we're moving it later by 50 feet. Yep. Okay, pop it. Boom, and there, there you, go. you go. That's 50 feet. Um, that's 50 feet of film, for those of you who are wondering what feet is. Um, that's it. There you go. Now, the, you also have the ability to, to, to select an area. So let's say you, you wanted to select, select all the tracks, but within a certain selection. 
Okay, so making a certain selection like this, selecting then, all of the tracks. Pop all of them, great. Mm -hmm. um, and now go ahead, this is interesting. Um, so now go ahead and shift this later by five seconds. Uh, yeah, so edit, and we've got shift, which is option H if you wanna use a shortcut. And uh, how much feet did you say, or what, sorry? Later, later by five seconds. Later by <coughs> five seconds. I'm going to minutes and seconds uh, in this case, going mm -hmm. five seconds and, pop and it. hit it. And see what it does here. And this is just, it's great. It's its also a dangerous amount of power, right? Let's be <laughs> honest. Um, is is what it did here is it, it basically separated the area and moved it, which is nice. Yep, yep. fantastic. So it, it sounds like he wants to move everything. It's uh, It does. I'm just yeah. saying that this is just another, this is everything, but not, yeah. It's everything here, but within a selected area. Uh, so what would the other options be? I mentioned uh, edit or, uh, or sorry, insert or cut time. Mm -hmm. And that mm -hmm. is if you need to add more time or get rid of time on your timeline. And uh, there are a couple of ways to, to work this as well. You can make an edit selection of the time that you want to get rid of or where you want to insert time mm -hmm. and go event. And this is a time operation, of course and you would choose insert time or cut time, which interestingly enough, opens the same window, which is the time operation window. And this, in this case, I'm in the insert time feature, and I could also select the cut time here. And if I wanted to insert time, I can just select where I want that inserted and how much time I need to, be I need to insert. And in this case, I also can choose what I want to realign, the tempo ruler only, or all or no meter, tempo key and chord rulers, tick-based markers and tracks, and sample-based markers and tracks. So I've got a lot of options here, and mm -hmm. I can really tailor this function. So if I hit the apply button, you will see everything actually shifting five seconds later, or because five seconds were inserted mm -hmm. into the timeline. And this is this is my go-to, and I'll tell you why. Is as as a musician, um, one of the things that can really, really come back and, and bite you is when you move all your clips, but you don't move your tempo ruler, especially if you're working with MIDI. Because remember, your tempo ruler, which which you know, I don't I don't know if it has it doesn't have any changes on it here because this is a post project. Mm -hmm. But if you're dealing with music, especially music that has a tempo ruler, moving your clips will not automatically move your tempo changes, and all of a sudden that, that can that can put things in a bad condition real quick. And, and inserting time and cutting time is just basically it's going to help you avoid that. And time signature change is probably more critically maybe. <clears throat> yeah, the whole thing. Yeah, that could be yeah, fun. everything. Yeah. Uh, Dave, you had a third solution here. So, so yeah, we could simply, uh, if you if you close that down, um, we mm -hmm. could simply grab the what looks to be the red triangle on the tempo ruler, mm -hmm. and then we can click and we can drag that out to the right, and that should have the effect of of dragging everything out. But all of the tracks need to be uh, in tick mode. So I need to hold down the option key while selecting the time by base selector, uh, mm -hmm. clicking on that and select, setting all of my tracks all to the tick tracks, based the ticks. tracks. Uh, so that's now done. And now I can drag the song start marker, mm -hmm. which will also realign all of the tick based tracks and clips on those tracks, of course. Uh, is there now, another way to do that without dragging it around? Oh, there oh, it is. Yeah, move, move song start, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And I think uh, Move Song Start is one of the most uh, underrated features in Pro Tools. <laughs> it might be, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 love it. I love the fact that you can move it, and it's, uh, it's part of, of the time operations window again, so Move Song Start. And this is where you can move the song start and realign whatever you want to do, and that includes all tick-based markers and tracks and you can set it to be all sample-based markers and tracks. So you don't have to switch the time base on your tracks to do this. Mm -hmm. You can actually do it from the move song start here. Uh, move start to, and you can just set that start time. I love moving and setting yep. the song start to my actual song start, not only because it actually is 
the 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 position where where the program starts or or your music starts. But I actually use it in post production workflows, uh, and I set it to the first frame of action where the the video starts, mm. and uh, I'll show you why. So I'll I'll just uh, uh, move it like like Dave here wi without. Uh, without doing uh, like moving the clips it themselves. Uh, with the song start position, there comes a nice little uh, feature. And that is, you know how when you press the return key, you jump back to the start of a session. Mm -hmm. And that's like, that's nice. But if you are, have it like me with a couple of seconds of nothingness, that can be frustrating mm -hmm. for you to wait for. But if you hold the control key on a Mac, or that would be the start key on a, on a PC and press return, you will jump to the song start marker, which is a fantastic feature. I use it all of the time. And then you can just play from the first frame of action or from your first bar or whatever. That's very cool. Yep. So we're, we're still in the realms of moving clips around. We're largely talking about moving other parts of the, of the timeline around, which drags the clips with them. <laughs> Mm -hmm. so, so the result is still the same, but you might want to do just clips. So how about uh, creating a, one single clip group out of every clip on our timeline that, that we want to move? Okay. Mm -hmm. So select all of your clips and then uh, Alt-Command-G on a Mac. Alt-Command-G. <clears throat> Basically creates one single one single group. If all if the, the the auxiliary tracks weren't in the way, it would look like one single clip, wouldn't it? <clears throat> right. Yep. And then you can click and drag and move those around. Um, and then when you, you're ready to return back to normal groups, it's um, Command Alt and U, right? For un yeah. For ungrouping. Un -group. Yeah. yeah. So this is great. There is a limitation though. Is is that you can't create a clip group on an aux track. Um, so, so the, if you have automation that you need to move along mm -hmm. with the clips, this isn't the way to do it. But other than that, that's great. Do you know, if, if we brought in, um, oh, crikey, I've forgotten, uh, Ryan's tip yep. about using the instrument clips for automation. If yep. we, you were using those, it would drag them, right? Because we Completely, can make yep. clip groups out of MIDI clips. That's right. Cool. You certainly could. Okay, so that would get around that limitation. Um, the other one being the all group. Anders, yep. could you put that drink a little bit closer to your microphone? Yes, sorry, I, I, I need to do that next time. Maybe open up a beer instead. <laughs> uh, okay, so use the all group, okay? You, you can tell which of us is in the nighttime and which of us is in the morning, can't you? <laughs> That's right. Yep. I've um, I've enabled the clip group, uh, the all group. Sorry, and the all group is a group that Pro Tools always creates uh, when it, it's always there, and it includes all of the tracks in the entire session. And uh, you can't delete it, you can't modify it. It's always there. So enabling the all group allows you to move everything at at once. But again, with the same limitation as as Andy said here. Uh, you might end up with with problems because you're not including things on uh, mm -hmm. on certain rulers and, and so on. It, it's still a selection based movement though. So if if, mm -hmm. if a That's clip correct. doesn't appear in the selection, it's unlikely to not move. Um, if you've got uh, mm -hmm. the the separation tool on, it will automatically select separate and move stuff for you. Uh, mm -hmm. Clip groups is the same though. The, the clip groups are still selection based. If you make a selection mm -hmm. and clip is outside of it, what will happen to that clip? Would it just slice it and just create a clip group out of what you've selected? Yes, it will yeah. slice uh, any clip and create, create partial uh, partial clips can be included in clip groups. Mm. So there's a little bit more cognitive work involved in moving clips by either using the all group or the or clip groups actually using song start, uh, insert time, shift, etc. Shift. That's actually mm. the less complicated way of doing it. Yes, it seems to me. Well, I mean, <clears throat> all of them have different. I mean, this is this is the great thing and the terrible thing about Pro Tools is if you if you know all the ways to do things, then you can do anything. Yeah, and right. You can I find mean, the most efficient way of doing things. Right. For I want to. I want to use case. 
I want to mm-hmm. I want to move my clips, but I don't want to move my automation. Great, I go with that. Mm-hmm. I want to move mm-hmm. my clips with my automation. Great, I do that. I only want to move my tick based tracks. Great, I've got another way to do that. Mm-hmm. And and that's the that's the the that's how you master Pro Tools is to learn the advantages and disadvantages of the different ways of working instead of just learning one and and cleaving to it. And, yeah. that, and that's that's largely why we're here, right? To talk about all the, that's all, why of we're the here. all of the color. It's not always a simple answer. There's always lots of uh, lots of layers. It's to it. never a simple answer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the, I, I think uh, the in the future, Pro Tools answers should focus on yes or no questions. It's like, yes. can you do this in Pro Tools? Yes. Yes. And we're pro to Thanks answers, for today. <laughs> and we're gone. <laughs> you know, it, it would be, we could just make a whole thing out of YouTube shorts. Yeah. It, just yes and no questions. It would be great. Slap slap four ads on it. One at, one unskippable one at the beginning. One unskippable one at, in right. Two unskippable ones in the middle. And then we can have a, a skippable one at the end. And it's only a minute and we, clip. And we, and we have maker. to name it the mo- and we have to name it the most clickbaity thing possible. Is we answered the most important question ever asked in audio. And or, yes. or your your dog and your goldfish will die if you don't die. watch this video. <clears throat> Heavy. That took a turn. Yeah, that's good. That did take a turn. <laughs> right. Uh, well, well, we're going to finish there before either Andy or I say something even more stupid. Uh, so thank you very much to all of you guys for watching. Thank you to Anders. Thank you. And thank you to Andy. You bet. <laughs> if you um, if you got a lot out of this, uh, stick a like on the video. Uh, subscribe to our channel as well. We promise we don't do anything to pets, I promise you. Um, and uh, if uh, you want to be notified every time we release our videos, uh, hit the, the bell icon. Um, I said last week, which was about 10 minutes ago, that I should really find out whether the bell icon is a thing i still haven't done it i've been busy recording shows sorry um if you want to head over to protosanswers.com you can find out what we're on over, uh, what we're on about to over there you can join our inner circle as well find out what uh, all of the benefits included uh there and and help support what we do um but other than that thank you very much for being here we will see you next time my name is dave this is Protos answers and we're out for real this time <laughs>